Okay, here is a quick craft you can do around your own yard. Go outside, find as many colorful things. If you pick flowers, try to only pick one of each color. You can pick leaves, grass, anything that has color, make a collection. Then get your watercolor paper together and position where you're going to put all of your color on your paper. This art is called hammer art. <laughs> we are going to bang these flowers and see if we can get colors to appear on our watercolor paper. Okay, so I'm placing all of the stuff we're going to need and my cat is being very annoying. like he's about to go to the bathroom on the hammer. Let's hope not. So for this project you need a hammer, some watercolor paper, some wax paper. It doesn't matter what paper you have but make sure it's strong enough for all of this stuff. That's a good that's a good tip. If ideally you'll use watercolor because once we've hammered our flowers we're gonna then go back with our watercolor paint and just fill in the areas with whatever we want. But I'm saying like, you take stuff and like take some stuff and then just go do, 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 do. Sprinkling oh, of yeah. some red berries. Red, sprinkling of everything, actually. So once we're done spreading the flowers, which I think we're almost there, we're gonna put some wax paper, um, I have parchment, but that's so, something over your flowers so that when you begin hammering everything doesn't go flying. Now we've got some red berries here and our, they might go flying. We'll just have to wait and see. But it will make a mark. I hope so. Now just start banging the flowers. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna keep going. Gotta bang it, bang it pretty hard. Not too hard, oh my gosh. No, no, my hands are here. Can I show you? Look. So you wanna take your flowers and go, just little pieces by little. Hold on, hold on. So we're gonna do section by section. So you can see the colors of the flowers coming through as I see. No, it's about the process, not even about the finished product. But I have a feeling this process is going to bring... Ow! Yeah, that was bound to happen. What? I hammered my hand. Something beautiful. Put your hand back further on here. There you go. We did put a towel under our watercolor paper so that we don't destroy the paper in the process. We done or if we should... Wow, look at that salady looking stuff. <laughs> okay, so let's take that off. Now we gotta scoop off our extra flower bits. Now we have the first part. So we're gonna keep watercoloring the rest of the paper until we're finished. Okay. We decided to just go crazy with our colors. Yeah. Zigzaggity. Zigzaggity Flip boo boo laddity. mom. Precisely. So here's our finished piece. And now we're gonna sign our work. So we added watercolor to our outside botanical hammering art. Uh -huh. Rose is adding a big R into the middle. 
I hope you enjoy being outside and looking and finding all the beautiful colors that are out right now. This is a perfect time of year to do this project. Enjoy!